Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be showing you different ways that you are able to isolate, but using only professional eyelash extensions tweezers. Before we begin, I do want to wish every single person a happy new year, happy 2021. I do wish this year to be prosperous for each and every one of you and also filled with lots of love and comfort and laughter and happiness. My name is Monica. I am your English version instructor and also one of the founders of Nana and Mona. And I really hope that you enjoy this video. Recuerden que si quieren ver este mismo video pero en español pueden revisar el canal de mi amiga Adriana que va a estar en las descripciones de arriba o abajo. If you guys need any sort of materials to follow along or just simply to apply eyelash extensions, feel free to go and visit our website www.nanamonabeauty.com. And for today's video, it's not going to be a lot of talking, it's mostly going to be a lot of practice. So let's get started. Today we are going to be practicing on Juanita, our mannequin head. We recommend that the practice eyelash strips be doubled so that they resemble the natural eyelashes because one strip of eyelash is going to be a little more separate and also straight. And ideally we are trying to begin to have a little more practice. We also recommend having different types of tweezers like we have here. What you see here are prototypes of our tweezers that we are going to be launching soon but are still in the approval phase. Remember to follow us on Instagram and Facebook so that you are aware of when we launch our product. So exciting. But going back to the tweezer subject, we are going to have a lot of tips because some people just work better with different types of tips and this is your discovery time to look for what works best for you. So let's begin. So let's start with different types of isolation or separation. The first is the classic separation. As you see here, Nana likes working with these type of tips because they have a little more precision and this really depends on your taste. For the classic separation, we are going to take the tweezers, you turn your hand a little more forward so that you are not putting so much pressure on the iPad this way, which is what you should not do. Then you go forward and at the base of the eyelash, you are going to separate and isolate so that one eyelash remains. Now let's see the classic isolation from a different angle. We are going to the base of the eyelash and we are going to separate the eyelash. First we turn the wrist and find an eyelash that is ready for applying. The next way is to introduce the tweezers from the side or in a lateral manner. This consists of introducing the tweezers laterally as you realize we are going to be inserting this tweezers sideways. If you can see from this angle, you see that the claw is actually touching the iPad but is not applying too much pressure. But one characteristic is that the tweezer goes in sideways or lateral. Another way we have is using two tweezers at the same time. Here we are going to help us and have a little more space with the other tweezer. So as you can see, they separate and it can be done in a classic way or a lateral way. Only now we will support ourselves with a second tweezer. If you see that you are the type of person that struggles, then you should definitely try this method. One way that we have found incorrect is when people replace the tweezers and begin to separate the lashes with their fingernails or their fingers and look for the lash and thus separate. But remember that our nails always have a degree of dirt and nasty bacteria. This is not hygienic or antiseptic, so we do not recommend doing this. If you can support yourself with a second tweezer, it would be way better than using your fingernail or your finger. 
So now we're going to see what works for some people and what doesn't. In Nana's case, she loves the shape of this tip because they are like claws to separate. Then we have these type of tweezers which are very thick and they're actually used for application but some people just find it easier to isolate with them and whatever works for you. I find these to actually be my favorite because I feel like they have a lot of grip and a lot of control. I feel like they make a big gap when opening and don't let any eyelash go under because it has this curved tip. These are more specialized so we love them here at Nana and Mona. There are also people like me that like using these type of tweezers for both separating and also for applying extensions. All you have to do is just flip to separate. The best thing is that you find your correct technique and the tweezer that best suits you to avoid fatigue and to avoid wasting time for both you and your client. An issue that happens a lot to people who do not have much experience with internal or external corners is separating the corners of the lash. Normally, the separation should be done as any other eyelash going towards the base and separating. But for people who need much more help, use another tweezer to be able to isolate the eyelash with two tweezers in the same way it can be done in the inner, it can also be done in the outer and vice versa. This technique is usually used for those type of people who struggle too much when they open or when they're isolating, they tend to see that all of the other extensions go underneath. So that's why we're using one tweezer to move the lashes out of the way and the other tweezer to actually isolate. Now we are going to see some examples but in a real person because the eyelashes are not as cute and structured as on a mannequin. We are going to take our tweezer, the one that best suits you, and we are going to start separating. Looking at the classic form, if you remember, we are going to introduce the tweezer, we go to the base, turn our hand slightly upwards, and open the tweezer so that the eyelash can isolate. For the second form, we are going to do the lateral shape, which is basically just introducing the tweezers laterally, separating the lash, and find where we are going to make the application. Just be careful and not get too close to the lash line. The third way is to have the help of other tweezers, which are going to allow you to separate. This is really good for people who do not have much practice. Another situation that arises very easily is finding very small eyelashes. This is a tough one, but with practice you'll get it. For this, you can also do the same thing of having the help of other tweezers so that you can isolate these small lashes. As I mentioned, we can work with different types of tips. For example, this has a very great advantage that due to the tips, we can open much more space to apply extension. The curvy tips are going to allow for none of the eyelash extensions and also natural eyelashes to come downwards. And we're going to use our application tip to separate any eyelashes. Then we're going to use the same application tweezer but we are going to use this for separating purposes. What I like about these tweezers is that they're very, very tall, which allows you to see all of the lashes. Now we can also use medical tape to separate when people don't have much practice, pulling the inner lacrimal outward, making it easier to find the lashes. By using this technique, the eyelashes visibly lift upwards, allowing it to be easier for you to apply extensions. We do have a full video on that, so be sure and check our channel. Well guys, this was the end of our video. In the next video, we're going to be looking at different forms of isolating, but now using medical tape. So be sure to stay tuned for this video. As always, it is a pleasure being with you. I really hope to see you in the next video, which is going to be next week, Wednesday at 7 p.m. Central Time, both on Facebook and also YouTube. Be sure to subscribe and follow if you're on Facebook. I love you all so much. Thank you for being here and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Carefree.
You gotta smile away the sorrow Get free Now worry about tomorrow You and me Our dreams 